What's going on YouTube? Today I have the Extra Beam Pro in my hands, as you can see. Uh, here's the box right here. Your box might be a little different when you receive it, but it's gonna look something like this. Now, this is the newer version of this right here, which is the Extra Beam Original. Now, in some ways, these two devices are similar and in a lot of ways, in a much needed way, this is much different as this is, is basically a phone. It's not been advertised as a phone because it's not meant to replace your phone. It's meant to free up your phone from all the extra workload and all the unnecessary things. But this device is very capable. It's a full on Android. So why do we have this? Well, in order for you to truly understand why you have this, you need to know about this. This is the Extra Beam Original. When this device came out, a lot of us were so excited about it, you know. But when we got the device, it really wasn't what we were hoping for. Uh, at that time, there wasn't really much of a way to uh, watch, to stream Netflix, Prime, ESPN, or things like that because of one major issue which was DRM. This device does not come with Google Play Store in it. So if you wanted apps, you had to break, you had to jailbreak the device initially and sideload apps. And it was just so many steps. And then eventually Xreal uh, came out with a way for us to easily install Netflix and Prime. And many of us, especially me, for the last one year, I've been using Prime and Netflix on this thing almost every single day. I have enjoyed it, but there are some downsides to it. The downside is because services like Prime, Netflix are not natively allowed on this app, you're limited to your streaming quality. So your quality is significantly lower. So if you got someone like me who actually is paying for the higher HD version of Netflix, because Netflix actually has different versions, they have standard version they have HD and something else I'm paying for a higher version because I wanted higher quality but with this device I'm not able to get any of those the only time I can watch higher quality stuff is if I'm watching on my TV on my phone or on my PC but I spend more time watching on this thing than anywhere else so I was just paying for a service that I rarely used and then the thing is because it doesn't have Google Play Store there was just so many inconveniences with installing apps. Some people till today still don't know how to install apps on this device right here. There was just a lot of stuff that, you know, kind of made people not really like this device. Initially, when it first came out, I was I was one of those people that was very disappointed, but I was still I still loved the idea. I still kept it around. Um, some of the inconveniences were like fans being loud, buttons being very clicky they don't sound loud but when you're in bed at nighttime laying next to your partner it feels a lot louder but that's just you know one of the some of the inconvenience and it got hot and there's just a few things and then you have nebula on your phone right i have the the fold here and a lot of people have other phones like the google pixel or iPhones, uh, a lot of phones that actually doesn't support, that don't support USB display output. You know, like the newest iPhone does support it, but Nebula isn't on iPhone. So when you connect your glasses onto your device, you're essentially having a screen mirroring. So basically anything on your screen, on your phone screen, it's what's gonna be showing on this. So you don't have those cool uh, three degrees of freedom where the display is stuck in one place and you can move your head around. Those are the reasons why I per primarily use this because whenever you have the display moving with your head, in order for you to look at the corner, you really have to roll your eyes to that corner. And every now and then it's fine, but if you do it a lot, you start to get eye fatigue. So high fatigue was the biggest reason why I really, really wanted this. It's the biggest reason why I chose this over a lot of the competitors, you know, 
mobile device or whatever. Now, when it comes to these glasses, right, if you go on YouTube, if you go on Amazon, right, and you type in extra, you're going to see a lot of people complain about compatibility issues. You know, it's not compatible. It won't work with your computer. It won't work with your phone. It's mostly phones, you know. There is that big complaint about compatibility. Well, that's where this comes into play because x decided to solve all those issues with just one device. I knew that a newer version was going to come out, but at that time, I thought that they were going to find a way to add Google Play services on here. That way we can have more compatibility with apps. You know, Netflix will run better. We can watch it at a higher quality and stuff like that. But I was not expecting a full-on device with a screen on it, with a camera. I was completely shocked. But before I get into this, let me show you what some of the uh, similar features are. It's not a lot, but on this side, you have this orange button right here, right? This orange button is to toggle between the different modes of this display, and you have the same button right here, which is the same orange button right here. And then on the side, you have your volume up and down, just like you have a volume up and down here. And then this is your unlock. This is your power button, and then you have your screen. And here you have your navigation button and stuff like that. And that's pretty much where all the similarities end as far as the hardware. This device right here basically cuts out all the compatibility issues that a lot of people are having because now you don't even need your phone. You, t you simply take your glasses, you plug it straight into it, it works perfectly. This is specifically designed for these glasses. This is meant to free up your phone, not replace your phone. However, you can do pretty much everything that you want to do, that you can do on your regular Android phone, you can do on this. Xtrail, once again, does not advertise this as a mobile phone, like a, you know, a phone to call, but I already have made calls on this, and I'm going to show you guys later on how I did that. It has, you know, microphones, speakers up top and bottom. It has two ports. This port right here is where you connect your glasses, and this port right here is where you charge it. Remember, it's another reason why a lot of people were complaining. Those of us that could use the glasses with the phone is we, when you plug your glasses to the phone, now you can't use your phone. Now you can't charge your phone. Now there's the option to use wireless charging, but when you use wireless charging as well as doing all that stuff, your phone starts to get hot. And then we, some of us eventually found cables that could allow you to do two at the same time. But at this, at the end of the day, it was a little bit more cumbersome. But once again, they thought about that. So they gave us two ports, just like how they give us two ports on the OG Bean Pro, we have two ports here. Now, these cameras in the back are, I'm sure some of you already know this, but for those of you who don't know, these are 50 megapixel cameras. This is a regular camera right here, and this is an ultra wide uh, camera. With these two cameras, you can have your phone in landscape and you can record 3D content. They call it spatial videos, but it's essentially 3D. So not only do you have a device that allows full compatibility with your glasses, you have a device that can record in 3D, take pictures in 3D. I've already taken some videos in 3D and some pictures. And for now, I'm not that impressed with the pictures, but with the videos, I am very impressed. I love them. They're not like mind blowing. They're actually not Apple Vision uh, level, but they are pretty close. And you have to also remember, Apple Vision costs 3,500. <laughs> when I put that thing on my face, I was like, this is heavy. This right here is $200. And it's only $200 for those who never purchased the initial one. If you bought the original, they will give you a $50 discount off of this, making it $150. But the caveat is you must have purchased this from either Amazon or from x website, which I assume most people have. So you essentially have a $150 device for people that already have this and for people that don't, 
it's a 200 dollars device now so this is what the home screen looks like and as you can see you have all your regular apps I already have youtube prime netflix uh, espn and all that stuff on it because these are the apps that i use uh the most when i'm you know trying to enjoy media content but it is a full-on android device with all your apps like you can see i even have instagram up there so once you plug in your device it's going to walk you through the entire setup it's pretty easy it's hard to show but it's pretty easy and you get an incredible experience it, the home screen looks somewhat like the apple vision so i'm guessing they have some inspiration with the apple vision that's why they have the home screen like that but once you plug in and you're connected any app that is on your phone you can pretty much open in nebula and glasses when you connect your glasses to the phone and you use nebula you're limited to just the apps that you download for this device which is like maybe three two or three and then you have your your gallery and you also have a web browser so if you wanted to go on youtube if you want to watch youtube you have to use the web browser if you want to watch prime that's a no no it's not going to work if you want to watch hulu it won't work so but with this device right here everything will literally work it turns your 2d space into 3d i'm sure you've seen the ads but it really does that so far I've been able to use every app that I wanted to use. Oh, and yes, you have a front camera. So once again, <laughs> you can pretty much do everything, right? That front camera allows you to video chat. You know what I'm saying? Like for example, if you have a Google Duo or Google Meet, you can video chat with your you know, friends, family, partner, or whatever. Or if you have a Zoom call, you can also do your Zoom call on this and if you are out on a trip or something and you just want to record a, a video but you don't want to record a 3d video you can use just regular video you can only you can use one of them or you can you know zoom out now if you really like to get that full experience that way you can almost relieve it you know turn your phone sideways and do some special video so yes you can do 3ds on this I haven't played any games on this just yet, but I plan on uh, downloading Call of Duty and I'll try it and I'll give you a feedback in the next video. I have 128 gig, but you can expand the storage up to one terabyte. So you can upload all your movies, all your video files. You can take pictures, take videos and all kind of stuff. So far, this is definitely worth the upgrade. But stay tuned for my next video where I do a little bit more in depth and I show you guys a little bit more about the phone. I mean, about this. Uh, device and uh, show you guys some tips and tricks and things like that. Until next time, thank you guys for watching. Peace.